You know what I don't understand? How is it that some photographers have the audacity to actually tell a model not to shoot with another photographer? Like, is this beauty here for you only? Are you the only one that should update your portfolio? Like, seriously, <laughs> if you're that type of photographer, I think you should just give up photography and get a nine to five or do something else. Photography is not something that you're going to be mean with or photography is just for you sharing your passion, be creative and make people happy. Trust me, you should not be in this for the fame, the likes, the comments. That's not what photography is all about. I've never in my life told a model not to work with a, a photographer. Why? Because it's not my place to do that. This is what I'll tell a model though. If you're building a portfolio and you want it to look a certain way, you should stick with one or two photographers to build your portfolio. I would suggest sticking with one. Why? Because this is it. When you're creating a portfolio, you want it to flow. You don't want to have professional photos here and then have amateur type of photos here. No. You will not make it, trust me. Certain company are gonna come and look at your page. Well, your page is your portfolio. So once they come and look at your page and it, they're seeing professional shots and then amateur shots, professional shots and then amateur shots, they're not gonna to want to work with you. So if you keep it consistent, you'll definitely be able to work with those companies. So I always tell them that, hey, listen to me. If you want to build your portfolio, you want your portfolio to look a certain way, stick with one photographer and shoot with a theme and you would be good to go, trust me. As it relates to shooting with models, I personally like to shoot a model that another photographer does not shoot. However, I do not have a problem with shooting a model that other photographers have uh, shot with before. But I want my portfolio to look different, I want it to stand out, so I choose not to shoot with a lot of models that I see photographers shoot with. If you check my portfolio, you can see most of the, well not most, but a lot of the models that I've worked with have worked with other, had worked with other, had worked with other photographers, right? So I personally don't have a problem working with them, but I always ensure that I find models that a lot of photographers do not work with because I want my portfolio to look a certain way. So if you are a photographer and you want to update your portfolio, you want your portfolio to look different, I would suggest that you shoot with models that a lot of photographers are not shooting with. If you check my page, you might be, if you're, if you're from my area or in my country and you see some of my models, trust me, you've never seen them on other people's page on other photographers page. You see, after I work with them, that's when you would actually see them somewhere else. I try to keep my portfolio a certain way, you know? I don't want my portfolio to look like another photographer's portfolio. All right, let me give you an example of one thing that I don't like as well. All right, back in the days, about 2007, 2008, they used to have like a flicker trip in Jamaica, like a big group of photographers and we shoot like three or four models. What I did not like with those trips is that when you're finished working on your photos, everybody's photos look the same because guess what? They're shooting them in the same environment, same location, same outfit, same everything. What I normally do, I normally take a model from, from uh, the, the group and I bring them somewhere else and do the photos because I don't want my thing to look like other photographers' um, portfolio. So I try not to do it. So when it comes to photography, trips like those, I would suggest you not I mean, you can go on it, you can shoot and everything and learn from the, the, the shoot, but guess what? I wouldn't suggest that you post the photo. Uh, it's just me, it's just me, because I don't want my portfolio to look like yours. So I would just, that's just my opinion or a suggestion if you ask me. But I don't like the idea of everybody having the same thing. If I come to your page and I see the same thing another photographer has on their page, honestly, that's a big turn off and I will not want to look and look at your other work because you're not original you don't have something different from what other photographers have on their page so did I say that right you get the you get the drift you get the drift so personally I will never tell a model not to shoot with a certain photographer I will never tell a photographer not to shoot a certain model but as a model and as a photographer if you want to build your portfolio if you want to look different you have to come up with a creative concept try to shoot models that um, other photographers are not shooting 
try to select people who nobody actually knows you know not popular people try to shoot people who are not popular and maybe make them popular <laughs> this is just my opinion I mean you do not have to um, agree with it I'm just sharing what I think works because it worked for me it can actually work for you as well so like really photographers are telling models not to shoot with other photographers like wow I am not sure if anyone has told a, a model not to shoot with me but when it comes to choosing a model, I don't, I just, I don't just choose anybody. I don't. I look through your portfolio, and if you're too popular, there are times I won't want to work with you. I mean, that's just me. I don't want to sound mean, but sometimes I just want my thing to look a certain way, and I don't want it to be looking regular. I want it just to be different. And when you be different, that's when your work will stand out. Thank you guys for watching, and my name is Andre Designs. But my name is not Andre Design. My name is Andre Young, but I go by Andre Designs. Oh, I'll be opening a video soon talking about um, when I just started photography and show you some of the work that I um, done in the past, like back in 2009, uh, seven, way back there. I'm going to show you guys some of the work I used to do and why I am called Andre Designs or why did I come up with that name. Alright, thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for another video. Bye-bye.